Hi, my name is Tori and I'm a bridal designer and a former bridal consultant, but I am still one at heart. So that's why I want to share with you these top do's and don'ts for your summer wedding dress that I've seen pop up a lot as a stylist. And one tip might actually even save your life. That is so dramatic. All right, first up, don't have long, tight sleeves on your wedding dress. Anything that's touching your skin is gonna feel sticky, itchy, scratchy, so uncomfortable. Not to mention long sleeves usually have a limited range of motion, meaning that you can't lift your arms very well and there'll be no airflow coming into you and you might feel claustrophobic if you're anything like me. Not to mention, when we're nervous and excited, oftentimes we swell up a bit, we get sticky and hot anyways, and it's just a recipe for feeling ooey gooey. Instead, opt for billowy sleeves, flowy sleeves, short sleeves, or no sleeves at all. If you love the idea of sleeves on your dress, you don't have to give it up. Just pick options that are going to let air flow into your body to help keep you cool on your wedding day. Don't pick heavily structured, tight-fitting gowns. I'm talking five plus layers thick, boning from bust to thigh. You're gonna be so uncomfortable. Same idea with the sleeves. There's not gonna be any airflow let into you and you're not gonna be able to cool down at all. Instead, opt for fitted dresses with less layers, less boning, less structure. That'll just let a little bit more air to your skin or just pick a flowy silhouette. Don't pick a synthetic fiber gown. You can probably guess why at this point there's just going to be no airflow. It's going to trap all that moisture and all that warmth next to your skin. Do try to find a natural fiber gown. So cottons, linens, silks, they're gonna feel beautiful next to your skin. They're gonna wick that moisture away and help keep you nice and cool on your wedding day. Okay, this is the one that might save your life. Don't go swimming in your wedding dress. Don't jump in the water in your wedding dress. This is a major, major drowning hazard. Picture with me, you jump in the water, the layers of your dress come up overhead, your arms are trapped. Now, all this fabric is pulling you down. There's no quick escape from your wedding dress. I'm sure you know there's a million buttons, there's a corset, there's a zipper, there's something. You're not slipping out of this dress anytime soon and I'm just worried about you all. Instead, if you're really set on some sort of water element in your wedding, frolic on the shore, make sure there's people around you if you do fall in to help you get back up. I saw this video and I am scarred. Definitely don't do all of these don'ts at once. Everything that I've talked about so far, they're not hard and fast rules. They're meant to be guidelines, just things that I've seen so that you can be aware and make informed decisions about the comfortability that you want on your wedding day. You know yourself best, you know what you can handle. I will say if you do all of them though at once, uh, you're probably gonna be pretty uncomfortable. Whereas if you have one or two, it won't ruin your day. Unless you go swimming and then you might have a ruined day after that. And pretty, pretty, pretty please do add cute sun accessories to your look. I'm talking old school lace parasols, hand fans. Please, please someone bring those back. I wanna see those around again. But also sun hats, sunglasses. There are so many things you can add to your wedding look that'll just add so much character and personality. Your photos will look just dynamite. Thank you so much for watching. Were these do's and don'ts helpful for you? Were you planning on doing something and now you're not gonna do it? And if you do incorporate some really cute accessories, can you please, please find a way to send me a picture? I would love, love to see what you guys come up with. And otherwise, we'll just see you next time. Thanks again.